What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So. What would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, Part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. 
Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Hello, Eric. How are you? Hello, teacher. I a little sick. <clears throat> oh, really? Do you have a yes. flu? Yes, teacher. I I have a fever and body itch. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Are you drinking medicine? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, that's good. And tell me, how was your vacation? Um, more or less, teacher, because uh, I had a, a, a fever and body aches. Ah, okay. Day in, 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 come on, in vacation. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Did you spend time with your family? Uh, yes, I I was visiting uh, my my mom this weekend, and and it como sería como derramaron un árbol, no sé cómo cómo se pronuncia. Ah, uh, they cut. They cut a tree. A tree. Uh huh. Okay, okay, that sounds good. It sounds like you enjoyed. And what did you eat? Uh, sorry, did you... uh, what did you eat? Did you eat something special? Uh, yes, teacher. What did you eat? Um, I eat. Uh, I ate. I ate, teacher. Um, soap, soap. Uh, chicken. Oh, um, me too. Um, me too. Yeah. I I ate sopa de gallina India. Yes, teacher. I went to. Do you know? Parque Nacional Boquerón? Uh, no, teacher. Ah, okay. So I went to Parque Nacional Boquerón to walk in the forest. And then after, I went to a restaurant at the Boquerón and I bought the, the soup with the hen uh, grilled and yes, rice and salad, huh? Uh, uh, como se dice elotes? Corn. Solo, only, only corn. 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 Okay, to, to eat uh, Corn and and cocote, creo que also cocote, cocote. Ah, okay. So you can say I ate corn and cocotes too. And cocotes too. Repeat. And win winter cocote. <laughs> nice. The green ones, the big ones. Yes. I bought a uh, papaya. In the volcano, I bought a big papaya and I bought blueberries, blueberries. 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 Hello, hello, good evening, how are you? Hello. Teacher. Hi. Mama. Is it ra is it raining in your area? 
de, de unos muñecos animados. Eric, is it raining in your area? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, little, little rain. Okay, okay. That's good. Okay, guys. Uh, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and get started. In yesterday's class, we finished section number four. So today we're going to be doing section number 5.1, conversation. If I found $750,000, if I found $750,000, the question is, what would you do? What would you do if you found, si te encontraras, $750,000? Um, I say, if I found... Seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, comma. I would start my own call center. If I found seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, I would invest in real estate. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. All right. Please copy the examples in your notebook. Finished? No, teacher. Okay. Okay, now what I would like for everybody to do is we are going to look at section number 5.1 video. In this class, you will listen to a conversation where unreal conditional sentences with if clauses are used in context. En esta clase, ustedes escucharán una conversación donde oraciones de condiciones irreales con if serán usadas en contexto. <laughs> Everybody, listen, please. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. 
If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. All right, so in this example, what you are going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to go where it says añade una publicación. You're going to click right there. Then you're going to go over here and then you're going to go where it says título right there. You're going to write if conditional. Okay? Here you're going to write Five examples, five examples. For example, if I found $750,000, I would start a call center in English. Number two, if I found $750,000, I would invest in real estate. Number three, if I found $750,000, I would invest in farm land. Boom, you're going to give me at least five examples. When you finish, you are going to go where it says enviar. And that's it. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, you have five minutes. Work in pairs, work as a trio. You can share your screen. One person can share your screen. Five examples, five examples. Ahorita 
Okay. Thank you. Escuchan ese ruido. Hello, Lisette, Diana. Hello. Um, if I found $750,000, I would... Mm, check the ID <laughs> of the wallet. I will check the ID. Of the ID wallet. Of the wallet. wallet. Uh -huh. Or mm, I would buy a new house. Um, this example. Is repeat. Oh, oh yeah, yes, yes. Mm. <clears throat> car. A new car. Yes. Okay. Number five. I will pay my debit. Debit. Deudas. What? Debet. Así se escribe. Debet. Así. ¿Mm? Uh, no, se escribe D B T S. Espérenme. Sin A en medio. Ah, esa. Quítela. Ajá. Or two. Okay. Finish. Sí, verdad. Finish. Yes. For example. Finish. Diana pudo resolver la, la que nos hacía falta del final exam. Fíjese que no, 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 no pude. ¿Y usted Eric, ya respondió, ya hizo esa parte? No. No. Ah, oh, ok. ¿Y solo, solo esa le falta, Lisette? Sí, solamente. 
Sí, a mí bueno, también, pero no le hay que pedirle ayuda. <risa> sí. Yo intenté de muchas formas y no me sale. Siempre mala, siempre mala. Mm. Uh -huh. Eric me dijo que con mis otros audífonos se escuchaba interferencia. ¿O cómo me dijo? Sí, se escuchaba un ruido así como... Sí, como de palomitas de maíz reventando. Ajá, <ríe> oh, Es que no sé, esas cosas las acabo de comprar y ya no sirven. Me salieron chafas. Los chinitos <ríe> vienen con, con todo lo que viene de China. Cabal. Ya descubrieron dos virus nuevos. <ríe> Ay, no, la viruela de del mono, ¿verdad? Dos más. ¿Y cuál otra? Este, no leí la noticia bien, pero sí, en todos. Y ustedes enfermos han estado, por eso no han conectado, o va a ser de ustedes no conectarse. Ay, no, yo ayer no me la que en mina. Va a ser, pero aquí, que... está el, aquí está el link, entonces. Oh, ya, no, pero soy, es que, es que en mala onda no se conectan. Estuve enfermo miércoles. Nosotros nos conectamos. <risa> Yo, mi ticha, por hablar así. Yo sí estuve enfermo miércoles, jueves y para amanecer viernes y para amanecer ahora y ahorita que estoy durmiéndome. Ey, la semana de vacaciones sí me conecta todos los días. Pero bien poquitos nos conectamos, somos varios. Es cierto. Bien irresponsable. Yo siempre trato de conectarme. La semana de vacaciones hubo clases, en serio. All right, no, welcome no. back, ladies and gentlemen. Is everybody finished? Yes, yes, yes. finished. All right. Let me have one person. Give me your examples, please. One volunteer. Who? Diana. Okay, Diana, let me have your examples. Uh, if I found... 70, seven, seven, $750,000, I will check the ID of the wallet. Okay, sounds like a good plan. Thank you. Eric, let me hear your examples. If, if I found uh, 70, no, so yeah, 700, dollar I will buy a new house awesome awesome uh, we say seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars thank you Eric fifty hundred dollars no no Repeat one more time. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars. Yes, correct. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Correct. Correct. Thank you. Okay, now we are going to Lisette. Let me have your examples, please. If I found seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, I could start my own business and pay my debt. <laughs> yes, priority, <laughs> pay the debts, please. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and move forward and we're going to be looking at section number 5.2, lesson objective. In this section, by the end of this class, participants will learn and understand the use of unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Al final de esta clase, los participantes aprenderán a enten y entenderán el uso de oraciones de condición irreales con if.
Let's watch the video. Unreal conditional sentences with if clause. Listen, please. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An unreal conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring, if your friend wanted to marry a in your home, if take turns asking and answering questions, what would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? Okay, please copy the question. What would you do if you found a burglar in your home. ¿Qué harías si encontraras a un ratero en tu casa? How do you spell that word? Burglar, B-U-R-G-L-A-R. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? No. You can't yes, see my screen? Okay. Yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. What would you do if you found a burglar in your home? You're going to answer that question. If you found a diamond ring. What would you do if you found a diamond ring? Get married with the most beautiful woman I can find. <laughs> It's a joke. What would you do if you found a diamond diamond ring? Okay. Copy the question. If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust, Wow. What would you do if 
what would you do if your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? That's a good one. That's a heavy one right there. Okay. Type your answers as well in a discussion box. All right. So you are going to answer these questions over here in the discussion box. You're going to answer these questions over here in the discussion box. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, one student can share the screen. You will have five minutes. Hello, can you see? Yeah. Yes. Okay. If I will find a good girl, good girl, Yes, I can hear you. Okay, mm -hmm. I will call the police. I, I will call the police. Okay. If I will... Corrija, corrija, Iria, no. Ay, perdón. Oh, es que este teclado. <laughs> if I would find a diamond ring, I would. ¿Qué harían ustedes? If I will leave the house. For the safety. 
No, for the for the diamond uh, ring. ¿O cuántos son por cada por cada pregunta? I'm sorry. Five. I have a complete for each question. Okay. In my case, I if I will leave the house for the safety and call the police. I will leave the house. Mm, I... Ah, que las leave. <laughs> I will I know. I will leave the house. Okay. Um también espacio um en a en a en a segundo. Después las comparte Diana en, en el foro para tenerlas todas. Ok. Eric, ¿No las compartió? Uh, no. ¿Y qué las hizo? Listo. Ahorita se las compartió. <risa> ok. Mm. All right. I will. I in a safe place. Okay. Lisa, ¿tú se quería? Yo ya dije, llamar a la policía. <ríe> Así, ah, aquí está. También la pensé que a ver. I would también podría ser hit the king with a stick golpearlo con un palo <laughs> si se pudiera um, with um, I... <laughs> por último I would I won't. Le voy a poner llamar a algún familiar. Call someone I trust. Okay, if I will find the diamond ring. I won't. Ask I would sell. I would sell it to earn money. Querían si se encontraron un diamante. I will wear it. Hello. Hello, Diana. Hello. What would you do if you find a diamond ring? Well, money. Money. 
Le puso moneda. Ahorita. Ay, boy. Sell for buy buy the car. A car. Mm -hmm. Venderlo para comprar un carro. Si es que fuera okay. tan 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 bueno. <laughs> Imagínate porque si. Yo... Me imagino, o a saber, no sé. Depende del tamaño de la, del diamante. I would check the value of the ring of the diamond. Y usted, Eric. Uh, I, if I found el que el perdón corrí a, a la anterior oh. Oh. gracias ok perdón Eric uh, if I found a diamond, I will sell. And uh, buy, I buy a, a house and other part uh, donate. And donate. Donate. Le voy a poner solo donar porque ya le puse comprar un carro. Ok. Y por último. Era. If someone. I love. Mary. ¿Cómo era? Quiero ver. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? More time, please. Okay. More time. All right. If, what was the three? Hello. Hello. I don't remember. You don't remember. What about you, Lisbeth? <coughs> I know if. Yeah. If, do you if if my friend, your friend wants to marry, what bowl do you eat? Your friend wants to marry. Someone I don't trust, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. okay. If my friend wants to marry. <gasps> Horrible todas las palabras. Ok. I will talk to her. Mm, another one.
I I leave them alone. Okay. Muy sensato, Eric. <laughs> is is your decision? Pues sí. It's their decision. I would. Listen. Uh, thinking the better. <laughs> okay. Thinking the better. Que lo piense mejor. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Convince her. <laughs> mm. Sería eh, advice. Advice. Okay. E I would. Enjoy the wedding, my friend. No tiempo buena cara. Enjoy the wedding, okay? In his teacher. All right, all right, let's continue. Let me have your examples, please, Diana. I'm coming. Yes. If I will find a burglar in my house, I will call the police. Okay. Okay. Eric, let me have an example. I will leave the house And call the police. Uh, can you give me a complete sentence, please? I will leave the house for the safe and call the police. Okay, so the complete sentence is if I found a burglar in my house, right? I would call the police. Excellent. Thank you, Eric. Lisette, let me hear one example. Okay. If I found a burglar in my house, I would hide in a safe place and I call a um, family. Oh. oh, okay. If I found a burglar in my house, I would get my pistol and I would say, here, burglar, 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 burglar. Here, burglar, burglar, burglar. It's a joke. It's a joke. You are very dauntless. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. But, you know, if I can defend my home, I will do it easy. 
All right, let's look at section 5.4, knowledge check. For the knowledge check, we are going to be complete these conversations by choosing the best option. Instrucciones. Complete estas conversaciones. Use los verbos en paréntesis. Do you understand? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Do you have any questions? No question. All right. Let's go ahead and work on the activity. And I'll be right here. One person can share the screen. Okay. Action. Diana, please share your screen. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Wow, you did it already? Awesome. <laughs> Alguien que no lo ha hecho, share your screen. Ya lo hicimos, oh. teacher. Ah, ya lo hicieron todos. I do it. I do it. Yes. Every, everybody already did it. Oh, okay, let's check. Let's check. Let's check, check, check it out. Check, check, check it out. Number one, Diana. If you had three months to travel, where will you go? Okay. B, Eric. Oh, that's easy at fly to Antarctica. I be always wanted to go here. Excellent. Number two, Lisette Castilla. If to the person you want do to get more exer exercise, which sport would you choose? Basketball. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I like basketball. All right. Diana, letter B. I'm not sure, but I might go jogging two or three times a week. Oh, you said I'm not sure but I might go jogging two or three times a week. I yes, went, it's the first one. I went jogging yesterday and I ran five laps this way and then five laps that way and then five laps up and down the stairs at the park all day today my legs have been killing me wow yeah so today i didn't go running i only lift lift uh, biceps and triceps Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of exercise. Yeah, every day, every day I try to, you know, um, lift weights, um, go running in the park, you know, just to stay active. Because the vacations, I was eating Papa John. Subway, <laughs> Wendy's, 
Mexican food. Us, Judge. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> i need to exercise all right number three eric what would you do if your car broke down excellent b lisette if i couldn't afford to Afford, afford. If I afford couldn't afford, visit, I would have to walk everywhere. If I couldn't afford to fix it, I would have to walk everywhere. Perfect. Number four, Diana. Number four. Would you break into your house if you lock yourself out? Of course, I would do like Bruce Lee. <laughs> Sorry, I would say <laughs> and kick the door open like Bruce Lee. One kick is over with. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. Eric, letter B. If I didn't have another K, I will ask a neighbor for help. Oh, so boring. Okay. If I okay. didn't have another key, I would ask. <laughs> I would ask a neighbor for help. It's more fun if you kick it. Clack. And then obviously you have to buy a new door. <laughs> That's the bad part. But, you know, it's fun to kick it. All right, guys. Ding, 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 ding. Time. We will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Thank you for the class. Thank you. Thank you.